All right, welcome to Dart University. We're going to school you on how to build an engine the right way. And we're going to talk about valve train stiffness and dynamics. Now, you want to make sure you have a nice, stiff valve train. You don't realize what kind of loads are going through there. You know, whether it's just static from spring pressures, but the real loads are dynamic. Movement of that valve almost instantaneous at high speeds. You're going to get high forces, big deflections. Now you can see this rock arm stud, nice 7 16 ARP mounted solidly into the cylinder head. But you've got an arm out here putting a lot of load on there. You're going to get a lot of deflection. Now we've got a pretty mild cam, pretty mild spring. We're going to show you with a dial indicator as I go through the motion and I start to load my valve and spring. You can see this dial indicator start to deflect. That's about 6, 7, 10, maybe 12 or 14 thousandths of deflection just from barring my engine over. Now imagine when I start to put a serious load, 6, 7 thousand RPM, I'm going to get a lot of motion through my arms, my geometry is going to get a little bit all over the place. I want to make sure I tighten that up. I'm going to go do some high performance building, high performance driving. I want to make sure my valve train is stiff. I'm going to lock it all together. I'm going to use something called a stud girdle. It's going to bolt it together, make it nice and strong and stout. We're going to go ahead and build all this up. And we're going to show you how to install one. All right, we've got a couple different girdles here. We've got a small block Chevy. This is the most simple. And we've got the big block Chevy. And I'll show you this one because it's easy. Now, all it does is it simply clamps on each of the rocker studs, locks them all together. Piece of cake. But the trick is you want to go ahead and leave all your adjustment till after you've got this thing pretty snug you can still get things tight because you're going to move your studs around a little bit as they all straighten up so you don't want to set your lash then move them a little bit by clamping them together you want to set your lash afterwards now the big block's a little more complicated why it's because you've got splayed valve angles so here's everything bolted together and you can see in that view not so straight and lots of funny angles there so a lot of complication going on but it's pretty simple We've got longs and shorts on our studs, or our nuts anyway, and we'll show you where those go. So I got my plate, we've got the longs on the intake side, they're just kind of finger tight, ready to get everything just kind of all put together. So you can see we've separated this so we've got plenty of clearance to get everything together and lined up. Now we're going to come with our shorties on sort of the exhaust side, we're going to finger those guys in. You know, and you'll run them down, but just finger tight. We'll get them all together. Now we're ready to start pulling this girdle together. That's going to pull everything nice and tight together. But we're going to have to find our home because we've got these different angles. This girdle, as it goes up and down, is going to find its sweet spot. So as you get all these together, start to tighten it together. You can wiggle it up and down a little bit. to find its sweet spot. Now you can start to tighten it enough so you can go and set your lash. Once you've set your lash, then you come back, tweak everything. Now it's solidly together. But last step, bar your motor over. Make sure you've got everything, plenty of clearance in there. You don't want anything to rub you know, or bind in there. Once you're done with that, you're ready to go out there and make some power. <laughs> 